up, guys, babes? It's your girl Joy, and you know, as you already know, purr, I am back. It is the end of the day, and I'm packing up to get up out of here, y'all. I'm packing up. I got my ice for the road. Already went to the bathroom. Washed my hands, got my cold water, honey. Ain't nothing. I'm gonna put some orange juice in here on the road. And I got some plantain chips in the car. Just a little snacky snack. Um, I don't know. Somebody provided pizza lunch for the teachers today, which was great. So I didn't have to pack a lunch. Sydney already is texting me, my daughter, asking me, Don't forget to come home early. Don't forget to come home early. So I felt so bad today, y'all. I, I felt terrible. I did. My little heart was, it was hurting. So I asked the student, I was like, I need you to get up and I need you to move over there. Why I got to move? I don't know if my head did a 360. I don't know. I said, because I told you to move your seat over there. And that's what you're going to do. Or you can get out. So it's like, if you don't want to follow the rules, I just. And no student has done that this year. If I ask them to move, they just get their stuff and, and, and move. I mean. But I just, and I could tell he was upset. I was upset and I felt bad. Hold on, yes. Your vacuum cleaner. Oh, yay. PBIS raffle. And so I got a vacuum cleaner for my class because the cleaning lady, if there's a piece of paper or a piece of dust, the cleaning lady will be ready to have a meeting with me and she'll take pictures and everything, y'all. So, because one of my students won, uh, she won a, a, a raffle and she was principal of a day, principal of the day. So she, you know, walked around with the principal all day. She dressed up very nicely. And um, because, and then they asked her who was her favorite teacher. <laughs> So, of course, <laughs> all right. And so it was me. She was also able to donate $50, you know, from administration to the teacher to buy something, anything they wanted for the classroom. And I said, uh, you know, a little vacuum cleaner. Sometimes somebody's sharpening a pencil. You need to, you know, vacuum up just a little area, something like that. So I thought this would be perfect for my class. So I found a little handheld vacuum cleaner and at the end of the day I can have my last period class you know just go over the floor go over its trouble spot areas and um vacuum that up at the end of the day it's a nice little handy thing to have for the classroom isn't that cute and so this is what I got with my $50 so I just sent the um the principal secretary a picture i said this this will do <laughs> and you know I, I stayed within the, the budget and stuff like that so this is a nice surprise very nice so i'm glad that came out I'll, I'll look at it on monday and try to figure out how it works my little handy student is no longer with me so anyway so I felt really, really bad. Oh, child, I gotta go. So I felt really, really bad, and my heart was just unsettled. And I was like, Joy, that's unlike you. And I haven't really built a rapport or relationship with this particular student. Because another student, I was like, boy, you don't get your butt over there. But he's fairly new. So we don't have that bond just yet. And so it just didn't feel right to me. And so, like another student, but you know, I don't, I don't have that bond with this one yet. I don't know him. And so, um, I pulled a small group, worked with a small group. I said, now, can you send this next student in? So I just had him send it. And you could tell he, he was, he was a little in his feelings. And I apologize. I said, I'm sorry for talking to you like that. Mainly because I don't have a relationship with him. And I said, I'm sorry for talking to you like that. I said, but my biggest pet peeve is when I ask you to do something, just go ahead and do it. And then you want to talk back, say, why well, I got to do that. And it, I don't really care how he came towards me. I cared about how I felt and came across to the kid. 
And I was like, it's really not my personality. You've seen me in the class. And I just wanted to apologize. And I said, that is a pet peeve of mine. And I said, the other reason you have to understand, I wanted to pull you away from the group. I said, because I know what the other kids do and how they keep talking in the group. So I pulled you to save you. I wanted to give you individualized attention. But you couldn't do that because the other ones kept talking. So it was like I sent you a boat to help you. So I wasn't pointing you out to be on you, you know, to be nitpicky. I said, no, it's because I wanted you to finish your diagnostic. I wanted to see where you are. I wanted to be able to grow you and I wanted to help you grow. I wanted to take you here, there. I was like, you know, have you ever passed the state standardized test, blah, blah, blah. I said, I want to work with you because I see potential in you. That's why I moved you. It wasn't because I was, you know, trying to hate on you or whatever. And I said, let me tell you something. Sometimes you're around some people, they're not there to grow you. They're to pull you down or keep them at their level. Uh, you with your boys and be like, yo, let's run that, whatever. Let's run the street. Yo, bro, this, that, that. That's what they're going to do. They're not going to say, hey, let's read this paragraph and analyze this. And let's do that. I said, your friend's not going to do that. And I said, if I see you trying, you putting in an effort, I said, you will always pass my class. You got to be working. You got to be trying. And we got to be working together towards a goal. And I said, that's what I want for you. And I said, um, and he was like, you know, thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I appreciate that. So it was like, I was glad I had to talk with him. But, and I got a little teary eyed and crying, crying. Be a man, Joel. Be a man. But my heart hurt because I knew I hurt his feelings. And I didn't feel right as a person talking to him. I was just like, because I told you to move or you can get out. And <laughs> it is. So sometimes, sometimes I think kids need to see that crazy side too. To let you know you have a crazy side. Because sometimes if they don't, even with your own children, if they don't know you got a crazy side, they're going to walk all over you. Oh, no. So <laughs> Look, my kids have seen all sides, which they don't see very often. But it just he I think it was just at the wrong time. I was trying to help him, trying to pull him away from the distractions. And it takes a strong kid to say, This setup is not working for me. May I move my seat? I give kids like that all the props in the world because they're taking their education. Um, they're making it a priority. And I, I love when a kid is able to do that. It doesn't happen very often because they want to be in the in crowd. So, but then I told him, I said, you know, I have a goal for you. And I told him about my family, how my mother had an eighth grade education. My father had a fourth eighth grade education. My brother could not read. And um, my sister dropped out of school in the 12th grade. And I said, I was the one to break that mold. Reading is what saved my life because I looked at all of them and what um, they weren't doing. And I did the opposite. Opposite. I wanted to be better. I wanted to accelerate and excel at something. The first to graduate from high school, the first to go to college. I said, I wanted those things. You have to want it for you. Because sometimes if you don't want it, nobody else is going to be pushing you to do that. I told him a little about my story and about the drugs, you know, to make that connection. The show that I'm passionate about, um, reading i said you're gonna need reading and you're gonna need language arts for the rest of your life how to read an application how to sign your name what this contract means so on and so forth i said out of all the subjects you're gonna need language arts i said so now is the time to start to master these little skills and, and grow and i said just just do 10 give me 10 15 minutes over the weekend give me 10 15 minutes on saturday 10 15 minutes on sunday i said invest in yourself you have to invest in you. You know, you have to go from here to there to there. That's what I want you to do. I said, can you give me that? I said, I could look to see which kids are working on this little learning platform because they give them a diagnostic and it gives them the skills to work on where they're low to bring them up. So I love it because it pinpoints exactly what the kids should be working on to grow in a specific skill set. So, and we just got it in um, seventh grade. So I'm so excited. And that's what we did today. And um, it, it, it's really a good program. I like it a lot. And then it'll group kids based on their skill level. I need to email the parents when I get out of here to say these are the skills. They are, we, um, Ms. Anderson picked out about seven skills that they're going to need for their state standardized test on Tuesday. So drill and kill, drill and kill, drill and kill. I really like the program. I wish we had it at the beginning of the year. Um, I was told that we will have it 
for next year so it will be implemented in um in my lesson plans and I can choose skills that the whole class can work on as well and I don't have to look for the lessons they're already built into the program so phenomenal you know because we have some kids who aren't um kindergarten level not kindergarten level altogether but a certain skill that they missed we have some on second grade pre-k so the skill levels like that so when you teach in a whole class how you individualize instruction you got to go all the way back to first grade pre-k who, who has time for that uh billy you're going to spend the first 20 minutes <laughs> on your um on your goals, on your IXL goals, yes, uh-huh, that's what you're doing, and this group over here is going to be working on the 8th and ninth grade level goals that they have over here, okay, so you, um, go back to letter sounds, and, um, you know, maybe definition, uh, context clues, so that's what you're going to be doing, and, um, everyone has their little goals, because everybody's at different levels, so I like it. All right, Billy, waiting on you. So I felt bad, so I had to eat my little words because it, it bothered my spirit. And I needed to apologize for me. And, of course, I, I don't like this. I didn't like the look on his face. So hopefully I'll continue to build a relationship with him and, you know, it'll be okay. Like, one, one kid, get your stuff, get out making noise distracting class so i was saying it was like eight minutes like get out and then when i said sit in the hallway until it's time to go and um i heard him walking down the hall i got kicked out of class today he thought that was the coolest thing ever if you don't boy if you don't but he he's a smart kid too so with that said guys i hope you're well and just think about the words that you use for people the tone that you use um, because it creates a certain feeling and mood in a person who is the recipient of your tone. And a tone is the, the person speaking, the person writing, um, their word choice. So I didn't really like the tone, especially because I know I don't have a, a good relationship with him. Like other kids I do. I might even put them in a headlock. But I built those relationships. I've been with them all year. So I would work on getting closer to him and building a relationship with him and showing him that I care and I want to invest in him. And I plan to write a little card and have it delivered to his class, but I never got around to that because it was a busy day because I was pulling groups. That's all, folks. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, morning, and just... Be mindful of the word choices that you use because you don't know how they can affect people. And sometimes when you think back and reflect on what you've said or what someone else has said, it means everything. It makes a big difference. Just to take the time to think and to go to that person, yo, when you said that, it, you know, made me feel this way. Or when I said those, it didn't make me feel comfortable how what I said to you. So sometimes it's about swallowing your pride too. And that's something... <laughs> I've been learning how to do okay I've been learning how to do that but so I need to email parents to tell them that they can't spend all this time on a ticket to talk they can spend 10 15 20 30 minutes on IXL to keep working on those skills why not why why you uh dear 15 minutes you can give me 15 minutes it takes 15 minutes to sign up for new car insurance <laughs> why don't you take 15 minutes to work on your letter sounds how about that <laughs> you know 15 minutes, 15 minutes out of your life on a weekend, but then you're always going to have that period. No, this is their time to relax. Trust me, they didn't do much while they were in school. They had plenty of relaxed time. I'm going to go now, and that's it. I like my little bonbons. They hurt. I'm ready to get, get home. It's like, what am I going to eat? I haven't cooked in a minute. I made some pork chops, and we just ate that with some bread. I guess I'll make me a sandwich when I get home. I don't feel like cooking. I don't. And I don't feel like fast food. I don't know. Make me another sandwich. Period. Alright, y'all. I hope you have a good day. Had a good day. Look, I'm trying to put my phone in my camera case. It's late. <laughs> Let me go before Sydney kills me. I got my little chips for the road. Got my this. Got a little orange juice. So, Bay Daddy stocked my fridge um, with orange juice.
and other treats. So maybe I'll come home and have me a treat and watch a movie. Just take a break on a Friday. But it's like sometimes you do that, you want something good to eat. Something that's going to be cozy, good cooking and eating. I got to put in great. Oh, I got so much to do. Oh, I got stuff to do, y'all. All right, y'all. Love you. Love you. Love you, poo poo. I love you, poo poo. I do. I love y'all. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> Bye, y'all.